the first thing before I go into the PowerPoint I want to say to everybody is we need to recognize that when people change their mindset, when people change their attitude, they will then change their results. I think too many of us try and change the opinion of silly people. You know, we can't change the whole world because some of the world don't want to change, but we can change the good people. So we must concentrate on affecting the mindset of good people, getting them to think, yeah, that's a good point. You've changed my opinion. First of all, I wanted to talk about reputation and I talked to members about their reputation. So reputation is what people say about us when we're not there. We can't tell people you have a bad reputation or is your reputation good because they will always answer the answer that they want to to have. So if you say to somebody, is your reputation good? They'll say, yeah, I think it is. If you can ask them questions and make them question themselves, maybe they will come to the result of, you know, maybe my reputation is not what I think. So I wanted to share a few mindset things about BNI. And I say to people, you know, what is your reputation in the mind of others? So a great question to ask members, if you run your other business in exactly the same way as you do BNI, what would your other business look like in the next six months? But then the next question is the most effective one. If you do BNI in exactly the same way as you run your business, Would you get a better return from your membership? You know, would you do a client presentation with no preparation? And yet, do you do your weekly presentation with no preparation? I often say to people, how long would you take to prepare for the outcome of a weekly presentation instead of how long do you take to prepare for the delivery of a weekly presentation? One is a short preparation and a short delivery. The other one is a long preparation, a short delivery with fantastic results. So do you set goals in your business yet? Do you set goals in BNI? How many of our members join BNI to earn more money and have no idea how much they want to earn? So it's no surprise people leave. We talk about getting more members, but if we make more of the best members think, then they will stay. I tell my members there are only two reasons why they will not receive referrals. One, everybody hates you. Now, obviously, not everybody hates you. But the fact is I make them realize that as soon as you are in a group of people, somebody won't like you. Somebody, you're too tall, you're too short. So you have to accept that some people won't know you, but they will decide they don't like you. That's just life. If you are in a chapter where you think everybody loves each other, then the only reason is you are either naive or you're in a small chapter. So when you surround yourself with people, they will create their impression. But the other reason why you won't get referrals is people may want to help you, but they don't know how. How many people know you as against how many people see you? The next thing I talk about is, do you actually realize what you've invested in when you became a member of BNI? I was asked many years ago, and I was not the best attitude when I first joined BNI. I didn't understand it. And I was asked many years ago, what percentage of your business is BNI worth to you? And truthfully, I kind of said with a bit of an attitude, 5%, it's fine. It wasn't anything special. And then the next question was, how many customers do you have? The reality on the 5%, by the way, is the presenter went, wow. And I just went, wow. And then he said, how many clients do you have? How many customers do you have? And I said, I don't know, hundreds. And he went, wow. And again, I went, wow. And he said, how many of your clients give you 5% of your business? And you know, it was only one other. So the killing question was, would you agree, Phil Berg, that BNI is already one of your best customers. And I had to agree. Now, that was the moment when I realized like, wow, this is one of my best clients. And he said, do you agree you could do it better? Now, when you're speaking to a good person, they'll always go, yeah. That was the moment I changed my attitude 
and then I change my results. Now, how many members get 20, 30, 40, 50% of their business from BNI or more and still don't recognize that it's one of their best income providing strategies. So it's making people think. This is something I've been very privileged to present in 38 of the BNI countries to date. And this is something some of you have seen, but my members find this very powerful. This in the middle is a non-BNI business person, a normal business person. These people around the outside, these are people we would all like introductions to. But the reality is they're not waiting for you. The second reality is, chances are they're very happy with their current supplier. So even if you're speaking to them, they're not necessarily going to come and join you instead. Do you know many, many buyers are very, very happy with their providers because their provider is good enough. Sometimes you can show me somebody better, but I'm happy with my current supplier. So being better won't make me change suppliers. Now let's make this person in the middle a BNI member. Now let's give them some help. Let's surround them with other BNI members. But now let's change the names. Stop calling them BNI members because let's call them connectors and introducers. Now, please, if you look at my screen still, if you surround yourself with connectors and introducers and you build this relationship then there's every likelihood you will get introductions to the people you want the way you want to be connected. Your connectors and introducers will excite your target market to take your call. And the beauty is you can make your connect connection and introduction team as big as you like. So if you wish to leave BNI because it's not working and you continue to watch my screen and you're in the middle, you can say b and is not working, so I'm going to take away the help and I'm going to do it on my own. How can do it on your own be more effective and get you better results than doing it with help? It's not possible. So you've got to ask yourself why, if you're not getting the referrals you want, you're not getting the referrals you want. The last one is the slide I want to finish on. I truly believe there's less pressure being in BNI than any other networking organization. The weakest members or those that don't get it yet always turn around and say, oh, the pressure of bringing referrals. The reality is people join other networking organizations for exactly the same outcome, more business. If you want to go for more friends and go bankrupt during getting more friends, it's not a good strategy. So ultimately, you're in BNI and you know that your responsibility is to help others, but you're surrounded by all of those people that will help you. So what pressure is there really other than your own? If you're in another networking organization that say quite upfront, you don't have to pass referrals. We don't put our member under pressure. How the hell are you going to receive referrals being in an organization that you do not have to give referrals. So those are three things in a 10-minute session, ladies and gentlemen, that I share with my members that makes the good ones think, wow, yes, I never thought of that. Thank you so much for having me here today.